Hello everyone, this is me, Ibrahim Abdul Salam. Today I will talk about Siemens logo display and TLE. Logo display TLE message text, text and parameter can be displayed on the integrated logo display or logo TED. Up to 50 message block can be used and the display uh, and break according to the processing situation. Local display has 16 character and 6 line and with a, with a logo TED over 20 character per line. The display has an additional symbol and units. That's how the logo display icon. To have, uh, let's go to logo soft comfort to simulate and see how the display operate. Okay. The logo display can be found in miscellaneous. Drag and drop the display. Double click here. This is the window where we can write. Uh, so we can write here logo. So this display once it appear, it will write logo. Message destination can be logo display, a logo or logo 3D or both of them or web server. Okay. You can add many things here. For example, if you want to display the date and time, double click here, current date down. It would be you would want to display current time. And that's for this screen. Press OK. To activate the screen, we must we need to have a digital ammo. Drag and drop. Okay, let's simulate to see what's happening. Once the digital input happens, appear the display the screen will start will write logo and the date and time same. Okay. If we have more than one screen, how we can do it? Let's uh, think about having a screen writing the number uh, the counter value. So we we'll have an up down counter. And we have one more digital input. And we need to have another screen. We will activate the screen by digital input numbers. Okay. Screen 3 will write here counter. From double click on counter block, what we want to do on the counter start value of threshold on threshold or counter. Now I would like to write the counter value. So just move it a little bit here and we can write equal. Okay. Okay. So we have two screen. In the first screen just write logo and show the date and time and the screen update the uh, show the counter value. This one will represent simulated as a switch, momentum switch. Okay, let's simulate it. Since the, this button is active, this, the screen is running on. There is background screen, but nothing. It will not appear until you activate switch number three. Once it's activated, it have higher priority than this screen, so it will appear. We can increment our counter. It can be clear. It's appeared. Okay. Uh, if we deactivate the uh, switch 3, so the priority become to 0. So we can change the priority by changing the number of the screens. What, what I mean? B03 or screen number 1, priority 1 has higher priority than priority 0. So if both of them and enable signal come at the same time, uh, the higher priority will appear. Okay. There is another feature in the screen. We can change the backlight from white to red or NPN light. So we will uh, we'll use the uh, flag memory. Uh, just add one more input to change the, uh, the, the light. Double click here. You can see here if you write one in uh, memory number 25, logo display white black light. If we write one at logo, at memory uh, 
memory number setting logo display ampere back uh, uh, backlight 31 logo TED red, uh, red backlight and so on so let's say we need a white backlight double click we select memory number 25 run the simulation I activate input number number 4 it can see the ambient is white deactivate it green since it's logo TED TDE not display so if I change it to the logo display which is number 25 1 this can become white backlight become white backlight become red okay let's make it one more time for red black light it will be 25 1 it will be become red black light or become as usual green black light Exercise 1 Use logo for cursor to start to stop to induction motor based on the following conditions Motor 1 contactor K1 must pick up on action of the left cursor and maintain itself On action of right cursor the second motor uh, contactor K2 pick up K2 only switch it on if K1 or switch it on in advance Down cursor turn everything off Motor 1 can, can turn on more than 10 times every 200 seconds Use logo display to indicate the condition of each motor on or off Display in the logo screen the number of times that motor 1 turn on If the user try to turn on motor 2 without motor 1 The logo backlight will be red and will display the following message Motor 1 must turn it on before motor 2 if the user uh, if the user turned motor one more than ten times in two hundred seconds, the screen backlight will be white and right the remain time to restart the motor. Okay, let's start this program. Before writing this program, as usual, we had to indicate how many inputs and outputs we have. So we have in this program two outputs, motor one and motor two, and three inputs left right and down curves uh, we'll use the other diagram for apparatus IO names down stop left start motor one Start motor two motor one motor two. So, here's our input C cursor F. Start motor one, and we have our output motor one, and uh, shut down break contact. Cursor down, cursor down. And we we'll need a latch. Q one. Okay, this is the first part. Second part is same. One to start the motor. Curse right. And one normally open for to prevent motor two to worry if no motor one didn't work. Curse left. And we have our brake for stop. Pressure down and our output coin motor two Q here I choose wrong I select wrong contact output coin our relay coin 
and find out the latch Q2 connected Now we finish the first three requirements. Okay, the, the fourth requirement motor one can't turn on more than time, 10 times every 200 seconds. Okay, we divide it to two cases that we need a timer and counter to do this task. First, we'll add a counter, up down counter. Okay. Every time the motor pick up or start, the counter will count it. Sorry. We'll take a mark contact and it will be Q1. Count. It's 10, so up on 10 and off 10. So, if the output higher than 10, the counter will change its state and we need to prevent the motor from turning on. So, we take a break. We call it counter 1 or counter 3. Okay. Now, we finish the part is nice. Now, we need to reset this counter once every 200 uh, seconds. So if we didn't reach 200, uh, one, once every 200 seconds, so we need the ret retentive on delay timer. We we'll use retentive on delay timer. Also, it will trigger to from the motor. This counter for 200 seconds, but to make the simulation easier for me, or it will not take time, I will get 30 seconds is enough. After 200 seconds, or after the 30 seconds, we need to reset everything. So we'll take the data from the timer. Timer. And put it in memory. memory turn the memory output and now we reset the timer and counter from that black memory this memory will reset this counter and also reset it just need some other slots or okay now let's simulate this part and uh, to see if there is something wrong or not press on simulation button start motor 1 turn it off start motor 2 again again Start motor fifth time, fourth time, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It didn't pick up again until the thirty second pass. I can't turn it on. Thirty second. Now the counter reset and the timer reset, so I can turn it on again within this period. We finish now task number four. We'll go to task number five. Use logo display to indicate the condition of each motor on or off. So we'll just add a message text, drag and drop it. We'll enable it, give it high, double click here. We'll write motor one. 
one and add an off on off on off from digital we select the q1 and the second line we can write over to from digital we can select digital output q2 okay now the state of motor 1 and motor 2 can be indicated let's simulate this part i press right cursor motor 1 on i press left cursor motor 2 on i press down both of them good let's go to the next line now the next step display on the logo screen the number of times that motor 1 turned it on uh, this is long message so we need to make it short so m1 on i can write here number of m1 on and i from counter i choose the count okay now let's display simulate this part I turn on motor 1, I turn it off, I turn it on, I turn it off, I turn it on, I turn it off, down, and after 200 seconds or 30 seconds, this counter will reset. Okay. If the user tries to turn on motor 2 without motor 1, the logo backlight will be red and display the following message Motor 1 must be, uh, must turn it on before. So we'll have another screen and red flag and uh, how we do it if the user tried to turn on motor 2 even motor 1 didn't on okay so we'll drag two things normal contact from right cursor start motor 2 And, and normally close from motor one state Q one and we'll have another display we need to make it bigger and one more vertical sorry will be enabled and also we have uh, a red uh, color background Q. this will be M the one in charge for the logo screen red back logo display red background ok and now we need to write our message here the message say motor one must turn on before motor two. Okay, motor one must turn it on before. before motor 2 ok let's simulate this part and see what will happen I will try to turn on motor 1 motor 1 must turn it on before motor 2 also I can make the logo TT uh, back light thread also no problem. We have an output contact here. It will be memory. Simulate this part. I try both of them. Motor 2 must turn off on before motor 1. Okay. Let's see the last part. 
if motor one turned on more than one, ten, uh, 10 times in 200 seconds, the backlight will be white and rise the remaining time to restart the motor. So, okay. So if the counter is triggered, I will activate another screen and give it a backlight. So we have here another contact from the counter. Counter. If this counter triggered, I will have one more screen and write in it remain time. Remain time to there on. Motor one. one and from the timer I choose uh, remain time okay also I need to change the backlight to white so copy this I will need to flex Okay, double click here. That will be memory. Something with backlight. White backlight. Okay. We choose 25 and oh, 26. Okay, let's simulate this program and see what will happen now. Turn on, turn off, 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 turn on. Okay, remain time to turn on motor one and it's counting now. Very good. Now we are going to the next step. We need to download this program to our logo to see how it's work. Okay, let's download uh, this program to our PLC to see how it's work. Download to the PLC. What happened? We have an error. Download PLC to logo fail. Detail in info window. From where we can get the info window? Here. Double click. We'll see this error. Uh, block without connect, uh, connection to an output message, message text special function block 5. And six and seven, they, those are our message text. They have they are not connected to output block, so it's look like a virtual uh, block. So we need to add some output, uh, output. Very easy, it's common problem we face. So we give special an input from special function five, and we connect it to output array. X, as I mentioned in the beginning of this lectures, it's a virtual, an unconnected output just to make it run. Okay, we'll do the same thing for X2 and X3. X2, X3. Special function five and special function six. Okay, now we can download to our logo. Download, refresh the connection. Double click. Okay. Logo is move from start to mode. Run. After downloading the program to logo, let's see how it will work. Once the logo is power starting up, try the date. Now it tried motor one off, motor two off, number of motor one one time. I now increase the number of on off. You can see the counter is counting. Nine, six, 
7, 8, I turn it on and turn it off. 10 times the backlight converted to white, and we'll write the remaining time. If we have, as we can, as you can see, 10 seconds, 9 seconds, 7, 6, 4, 2, 1, 0. Now we go back to our operating window. If I try to turn on motor 2, the backlight will become red there, and once I move my hand, the backlight will become red. Of course, I had to turn on motor 1 before motor 2, and the down cursor will turn off everything. That's it, and thanks a lot for watching. See you later. Bye bye.